What a rebound. Naples real estate market has bounced back significantly compared to what it was last month. We've got our year over year prices have increased. Sales are down a little bit, but we're gonna jump into some amazing stats to figure out what's going on here in Naples. All right, so what we go over every single month is we go over the stats and we're looking at these as year over year stats and these are for single family homes in all of Collier County, not just Naples, but we're gonna talk specifically about Naples because that is really what we're working with mostly. So here in Collier, we have our single family homes. We have closed 330 last month and that was actually down 6% year over year. So 2022 compared to 2023, we expect that to be a little bit slower because 2023 in general was a slower year compared to 2022. Now the median price, this is really a big component here. We're at $797,000 for a median priced home. That's up 2% year over year. Now let's talk about why that's a big deal. Last month, if you remember, I can put a link above to the market report. This was at $750,000. So we've increased by $47,000 in one month time. And last month that was down at 12% year over year. Now we're up 2% year over year. So it was looking like, my goodness, the prices had changed pretty drastically. I've lost a lot of equity to now I've gained a little bit of equity over the past 12 months which is a good sign if you already own a home in Collier County in Naples. Now, in terms of the average price, it was down 7%. And so I don't know that we need to go into the details about what the difference between median and average, but median is the, the median of all of them right in the middle. That's of, of all of the homes, the middle price one, compared to the average is adding them all up and dividing by that number to get the average. And so with the average price down, but the median price up a little bit, it, what that tells us is that there weren't as many of the higher end luxury properties that sold and compared to last year. And so that was down by about 7% overall. Really, inf really good information there. Now, the number of days on the market, it's actually 49 days currently. That's up 17%. So that is the time frame for when you go on the market, the day it's listed for sale until you get a contract on the property. That's at 49 days. So not too bad in the scheme of things. Historically, that's about what we would expect. Maybe a little bit more than that actually on average. All right, then new listings. We're at 446 new listings that have come on the market in the past month. That's up 5% year over over year, we're starting to see, so these are December stats, the latest stats in December, we're starting to see now that that's increasing by even more. And then the pending inventory is of 451 homes, that's down 23% year over year. So with the number of pendings being down 23%, we can expect that our future closings are going to also be down. So as we look at the next month stats, those of closings, those should be down as well. That puts our month supply right at 6.3 months, 50% higher than what it was this time last year. And at six months, a little over six months worth of inventory, that puts us well into a buyer's market. The buyers are starting to get a lot of power in the market that we're working in. And the dollar volume, total amount of uh, the dollars that changed hands was $468.1 million, and that is down 13%, so a bit less money getting pumped into the local economy when it comes to real estate purchases. So as I alluded to, the inventory is increasing. We're starting to see the, the pace of sales increase a bit compared to where it was. And we're starting to see our inventory continue to increase. And both of those things are absolutely normal given the time of year. Given that we're in the beginning of a year, this is our high season. This is when things start to pick up. This is when if you are thinking about selling your home, you've been on the fence about selling your home, you're likely going to put it on the market during high season because that's when the majority of our snowbirds are here in town potentially looking at real estate. So our inventory rising, we have more inventory now than we've had for years starting season. That is a great sign for those who are looking to buy because you've got more options out there. But one of the things that's been very interesting that we've noticed here on my team and in the office 
is that certain products are selling quicker than others. And so we have to take a look at a few of the factors. We can't just look at the overall market and say, here's what you can expect as far as days on market. Here's what you can expect from a pricing perspective because the micro markets, the little neighborhoods that people are looking for, they have a lot of differences. And that's why we're here on your side to be able to help you understand the market and the nuances to help you understand, hey, is this something that I really need to bid you know, quickly and, and a good number on? Or is this something that I can negotiate quite a bit off of if you're looking at purchasing property? Because we've seen people who think that they can negotiate a lot more than they potentially could, lost out on a property, they're not happy about it, nobody's happy about it. We don't love that situation, so we wanna make sure that we can help you avoid that. If you have any questions, do me a favor, comment below and like the video, subscribe to the channel, love to help you. My team and I are here for you to help you look for purchasing and or selling here in Naples. Have an amazing day. Talk soon.